let me run through um, the setup for you, okay? Uh, again, later on, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth uh, video, but I just want to put this on the air so you guys are aware that step-by-step um, uh, -step as I progress on my end, I'm uh, hooking up the uh, weather station and um, reviewing its capabilities. Again, so far, I like what I see, all right? Very, very simple to hook up. It only took me maybe, maybe 10 minutes at the most, okay? Um, first of all, the first thing I did was I downloaded the AccuLink PC Connect software program from their website. As you can see, it's totally free, all right? What you're doing is, um, if you don't buy the bridge, and I'll explain the bridge here in a moment, okay? The bridge is the device, which is right here, okay? The what you're looking at is you're looking at the main console board. First thing is you have a switch up on top where I can touch it, and it turns the light off, okay? But I'm just going to leave it on, only because I can't see in the dark, so you see it's, all right? And this is really cool. As you'll see, this weather station is extremely simple to hook up, all right? power cord, a USB cord from here to your USB port, all right? As you can see, uh, it gives you wind, wind direction, wind speed. It gives you the exterior temperature. It gives you humidity. It gives you the barometer reading. Um, there's a little switch over here, humidity alarm. Now, the key thing you want to remember, this gives you uh, three channels, okay? A, B, and C. It also gives you different USB modes. You want to make sure that the USB mode that you choose on um, default is USB 3, um, option 3. You want to, and a 3 is the way to go because it's going to store the data for you up to two weeks and then it also will upload that data to your software program as well. Um, down here in the bottom, it's got a weather ticker. Again, uh, this. I haven't even looked at it yet, but basically it gives you a lot of, you know, useful information. It'll tell you, you know, the high, you know, yesterday, the high projected. It gives you uh, outdoor temperature. It gives you uh, weather facts. Um, and now, from here, okay, and again, I want to show you the comparison too, okay? This is the Accurate station. Very, very colorful, informative. Everything is right there. Okay, here's my RainWise. All right, all the information that I need is on my my RainWise. Wind speed, wind direction. You know, barometer gives me my date, my time, temperature outside. All right, gives me the amount of rain that fell so far to date, 18.9 inches. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's it's what most professionals use. The bare bones. The you know the, the data is right there. Okay. Come over here to the uh, unit that you can buy at Walmart, and it's colorful, and it has the same exact features that the RainWise has. Now, understand, okay, the RainWise is top-notch. It's accurate. It's more precise, okay? The accurate and uh, its accuracy, I'm going to I'm going to check this out, but... Um, Here's the comparison I'm showing now, okay? My RainWise is showing 26 degrees, all right? The Accuray is showing 32. Um, now, understand that my RainWise is in a different location, but it's only maybe, oh, probably 35 feet away. Um, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, the difference is here, okay? But again, the RainWise, it's you know, a professional unit. It's more in tune, uh, more fine, finely tuned, okay? Wind speeds are dead on. Um, so it could be location, you know? It could be that my RainWise is lower to the ground where the cold air is trapped and it's giving me a lower reading. Uh, that's something we have to look at, okay? Now let's move outside. I'm going to show you the uh, the actual weather station that I put up outside. But a couple of things I want to share with you, okay? Here is the Accurate 5-in-1 weather station. You can see the um, 
or the station's working, the altimeter's turning around, this is your, that indicates the wind direction, okay? Behind it is your rain, your rain collection port. Um, underneath you've got your battery compartment. It's really all, it's all complete. You have a mounting bracket. The mounting bracket, one, one, two screws to hold it in place here. Like I said, it's all ready to go. It has a solar panel. You want to make sure that solar panel is facing to the south, okay? Now, if you can see across the yard there, there's my rain-wise. See what I'm talking about? The rain-wise is closer, it's closer to the ground. Um, so there's a good possibility that the rain-wise is picking up um, the cold, settled air on the bottom of the ground. And also, it might be picking up the colder air coming off the hillside, coming down in that direction. Whereas the Accurate, my temperature sensor is up high. Uh, it's a lot higher than the rain-wise, so that might be why the reading is a little bit higher, okay? Um, real quick, because I'm getting cold out here, okay? The Accurate, also they sell these fantastic um, outdoor clock thermometer combinations, okay? And I love this. This thing, not only does it look good, um, I'm, we're using it for one, number one reason, okay? Um, so here's the cam, okay? This is my Y cam, and the Y cam is facing the weather station and the, and the uh, clock, all right? So I'll be able to see that on the camera, um, which would be kind of neat, you know? Uh, once I get it set up and I get the angle right, I'll be able to, uh, yeah, I'll be able to, I should be able to see both of them easily in the frame, okay? Um, as you can see, the time is off. It's actually about 6, 615, okay? This is an atomic clock. So once it receives an atomic signal, uh, the clock should adjust itself to the proper time, okay? Definitely. All right, so I just, I just put this up like five minutes ago. So it takes, sometimes it'll take up to two hours for the clock to get a clear radio signal from um, the transmission point of WWV. Um, so anyway, folks, uh, I'm cold and I'm gonna head indoors.